boss tube, it's Janet, Janet with Janet Chabber. I'm coming at you with episode 168. If you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by and checking me out. Um, do the YouTube things, the thumbs up, the comments, get involved. If you're a returning friend, thank you so much for stopping by to see me again this week. I know there's a lot of content out there, but um, I want to jump on in and let's do this. So First of all, some of you may have noticed in my community tab that I posted a picture of um, one paternity picture and it showed that baby um, baby and granddaughter, oh, my baby, um, Lizzie and my granddaughter are safe. They uh, made it here safely and we'll talk about that more in the end, but I am gonna pop a cute little picture in here to share my little bundle of goodness that was brought to us. Um, and we'll get into stitching for those that don't want to talk about that and we'll do that at the end. So, um, I, this last week I did a, besides a granddaughter coming along, um, I got to get gather with my friend Christine and Chrissy that to cross stitch together and that was so much fun. Chrissy gave me a package of stuff to give away here on the channel that I'll be sporadically throwing in here and Chrissy gave me this cute, I didn't bring it over here with me, a cute little... I'll show it next time, hopefully, if brain works. But it's a Stacy C. Stacy C. Stitches Studio, Creative Studio. Stacy, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll put the name here. Uh, but it's a little uh, ort. Um, it's so cute, and she made them, and she's completely sold out right now. But she plans on making more and getting them back into her shop. But so you can check that out, out over on her shop. Um, other than that, a couple details here in the description box below. I have a happy mail form. You're not required to fill that out, but it helps like on some of the winnings. I will say I look to that to see if uh, your information's there. If it's not, I just wait and usually contact me. I've probably in the whole time had one or two people ever not reach out to me. So there's a couple other links. Lots of information is in my description box. Um, when I mentioned uh, places that I buy stuff from or whatever, usually can be found in there. I'm not the best, but I try. So let's jump into our segment of that so many people like on here, and it is my featured friend. So pop in a picture in here of Karen's morning sampler. She heard me mention about stitching it, and she shot me out and said that hers was finished in September. She changed the words on the song, um, but she liked the, the, it reflected a song that she loves. And that is what this is about, Karen. So what a beautiful changes. You're right, it is going to push me um, to, to get that out and work on it more. I have so many projects in and you'll see quickly that I'm adding more to it, but it's not that bad, I can handle it. So the next thing I want to, again, um, sorry, before I jump to the next topic, thank you for sharing that, Karen. If anyone else would like to have their um, stitching shown here, um, just send me an email at janetjabber at gmail.com. I add it to the queue. Everyone seems to love this because you get to see a variety of stitching. So thank you for that. Now, on to the next thing that I have, and that is my giveaway section. So I have the two giveaway winners from last time. Again, I usually pop their names in here, but number one is Kathy Mayfield, Kathy Mayfield, and number two is Dana Ballard, Dana Ballard. So I will need you to get a hold of me. I will look in the um, on the thing. I'm a tiny bit behind um, on the giveaways from last week. Please give me grace. I'll get them. Um, but anyway, I want to keep that rolling with some giveaways at this Christmas time. So we have number one on mine. No special question. No secret word. Just put number one if you want this to be entered to this one. And number two if you would like to be entered into this one. Look at that little guy. Yeah. So one, two, and we'll get those, um, we'll get those started in regards to, um, giveaways for next week. Uh, sorry, I was distracted. I, I you hear the ones that there's stuff everywhere. If I don't lay it in the right spot, then it, it could be a catastrophe. So anyway, thank you. And I hope I wish you luck in regards to that. If you would like to enter to win that. So, um, on to my stitching for this week. I have no finishes. None. Yep, is what it is. So we're gonna move into what I stitched on this week. And it is quite a lot. I just don't know that I spent a lot of time on them, but it doesn't matter. A stitch is a stitch. All right, number one is my Mirabilia Autumn Queen. This is what she will look like when she's done. And she is stitched on collar and cotton's 28 count Joblin Sparrow. 
and she is looking so good. So good. Oops. Opie, this is where we're at. I apologize for Opie. I'm probably going to pause this. So real quick before I have to pause this and get him is down in this area is what I worked on. So the puff out coming. She looks so gorgeous. All right. So he seems to have self-soothed. So we're going to leave him be for right now. Um, sorry about that if that bothered you. My next one, I'm going to pop a picture in here. This is a new start for the baby, uh, for the grandbaby. It is stitched on a piece of Queen Anne's lace. I believe 28 count. I'm not really sure. It wasn't marked. Um, I started it the day after her birth. I had grand plans that um, I was there the whole time for her birth. And I was getting kicked out um, of the room when um, she was being delivered. I was so exhausted. It was, it was some days. But so this got started the day after when I was stitching with my friends. So this is where I'm at. So almost the top, uh, top of it is done. This is the same designer for my daughter's wedding announcement. And um, I will be reaching out to her for her help again in charting um, the information in the center. So, all right, another new start that I have. Um, this was, I'm so happy with this. So. This is Hands on Designs Cranberry Christmas. I've been wanting to start this for so long. And um, I have the Sulky Pack that is recommended that you could use instead of DMC. And I stitched it, I am stitching it on a 28 count raw cashew linen. And what I'm excited about on this is, let me show you. I mean, I don't know that you're really gonna see, but this is where I got to at it. So just the tiny little house. I probably need a little bit more of a start to take it into the new year. But I have found, I struggle with sulky. I love stitching with them, but I struggle between, and I think this is just a personal preference. You'll hear people, it's equivalent to two, but on the package it says one and a half strands of DMC. So at 32 count, it would be, two, I didn't like how my stitches lay. 28 count seems to be my sweet place, spot for that. So I will remember, remember bleh, I'm talking too fast. I will remember my sulkies look really good on 28 count, and then I can use my collection that way. So. And I have plenty of 28 count in my stash. So there you go. Uh, my next one is another new start. Again, you're going to see a thing here because I, I'm going to try. We'll talk about it in plans, but you're going to see a lot of new starts for me in the next couple weeks. I have a square. Do you see that? I have a square. I'm showing you this backwards evidently because I'm supposed to show you. This is the chart I'm starting. I have four of these because I want one for each season. So Luminous Fiber Arts, Snowflake. Gathering is what the series is called. This is on a 40 count Verdal, just white. Um, and I stitched the entire thing. So I had the borders met and the one square at the top. I have gotten to the point where I even was holding it wrong. I mark it with a T in the very, very corner for the word top so that uh, I know, uh, well, so I know where it is. And it's so far out of the way when the ink that I use on it won't matter because I finish or cut that off when I use it for a finish. So there you go. So that one probably won't come out till January, but I'll tell you more in the details in a minute. Um, my, I, for my whip go for December, my Mrs. Christmas Eve is called. She is stitched on a 28, a 32 count piece of Joblin that um, I dyed myself. My cat just jumped up on the table next to me where I have everything stacked. <laughs> this is where I got on her. So the only thing I worked on was this patch of um, red here. And there's like three colors of red and a brown. So that's where I worked on. And uh, I will continue working on her. That was two days worth of work and it's five days for a whip go. So you will see her next time probably. And then my next little pile here is my week. This is my daily stitch. I put a thread in a day um, on this. This is a, I think, I don't think this is a new start. I think I had started it already previously. So the frosted pumpkin um, cookie, Christmas cookies, as you can see, it'll be that. I don't know if this will get done by Christmas, but that's okay. A thread a day on it. It's an, on a 28 count casual opalescent 
white and borders matched up. So sorry, kind of boring today, borders matching up, but it's, it's most of the time, if there's a border, that's what I do, but we'll see. I don't know. It's not all the time, but most of the time, that's what I do. So back to one thread a day on this and we'll see how that progresses. My next one is my Mill Hill Monday. Mill Hill Monday working on Autumn Harvest. Um, it's called, it's Autumn Gold is what it's called. And I'm super happy that all the stitching's done on it. So beading, I would love to come at you this week and have all the beading done, but it probably, there's a lot of beading there. So it'll probably take me two weeks to get that done, but that's okay. We got time. Um, my next one is my Wicked Wednesday. So it is on Tiny Modernist Halloween calendar and I got Block 14 done. Yay. Look, he's so cute. I didn't have his head last time or the little stick sticking out his arm. So I got that done this week. So I guess there was, I don't consider that a finish. I think I bounced back and forth, but anyway, this next one is not a new start. I had started it last time it is for my festive Friday, which is for Christmas right now. So it is again, tiny modernist. Um, tis the sea, it's the season sparkle. It's on a 28 count. Um, I don't know how to say that word. It's a brown. And this is where I'm at. <laughs> see, sa. We're getting there, we're getting there. So that is what, sorry, bad reach. That is what I have for stitching this week. So um, I do have some other goodness to share with you. So I will get into that in just a minute, but my plans for this next week, a um, little bit of personal and stitching plans. Um, OP has his surgery. I start my PTs, um, my physical therapy on Wednesday. So OP has surgery. I run to go to start my physical therapy and then I go get Opie back in. I actually took the day off of work because my little snuggle bug is gonna need, um, I, he needs extra lovings that day. But as far as stitching plans go, I am sure you're gonna see a lot of new starts. I will do my normal um, thread a day, Mill Hill Monday, Festive Friday, Wicked Wednesday, uh, my queen. I'm That birth announcement is very top on the priority list. So, Mm, and Miss Christmas Eve needs three more days this week, and then I still have to do my Afghan. So, whoo, lots of things. We'll see. We'll see. Lots of things, though. Um, all right, but what did, let's move on to, like, what have I gotten? What is my mail? What is my haul? And then um, I'll get to you more personal information. So, first of all, I do not want to remiss in, um, I got some Christmas cards, and I love sharing them. So, this sweet little cat is from Carolyn. Carolyn also has a channel on here, Carolyn Stitches. So thank you very much for that cute little card. She loves her kitties. She loves her kitties. Um, the next piece that, of mail that I got is um, from Janet. To Janet, from Janet. Look at that wintry scene. We have not had snow like that yet, but um, I am a girl that loves her snow. So there's that. And my next piece, I am in a tea exchange with some friends. And oops, I dropped. So I got a Christmas card from Melina. She sent me some flosses, all Christmassy, and a baggie full of teas with instructions of what they are and what to do with them. So I love my tea, um, and I've enjoyed this tea exchange that we've done. I also got a package from Janelle um, for tea. She sent... Um, a couple of teas and some waxers, I believe. And she also sent, where did I get it? A couple of threads. Thank you very much, Janelle. Oh, that, all that tea smells so good when I'm like pulling it out. And last but not least is my dear friend, Lynn, who sent another Chris, a Christmas card also. And some wonderful sounding teas in there. So I look forward to trying these teas, lady. I love this. I, you know, I've, I'm hearing of new um, tea makers that I've never heard from before or heard of before. So uh, it's very exciting to exchange that different, I don't wanna say different parts of country, but like I drink stash tea and I've never heard of Christmas tea. So I don't know, pretty exciting to me. So what else do I have? I have a tiny little haul. 
Um, I won a giveaway on a, on a channel here on YouTube, and this is what I won along with the, this was an anniversary giveaway that they were doing over on Count Twice Stitch Once. So thank you very much, ladies. I'm excited. This is my first time ever seeing one of these, and I've wanted these, and I can't settle on what one, so now I want it, and I can just stitch it, so that's exciting. Um, my purple hummingbird, the tiny hummingbird stitchery. Um, I ordered my Thanksgiving harvest fairy from her. I believe this is the last one in the thing that I need. These used to be kitted up, but now they're not. You can just get chart only, so that I was very, very happy to get. And last but not least is, um, oh, it's not last. I forgot something in my, my Christmas cards. I, I received an email from um, the Fat Quarter Shop that Susan on here had sent me a gift through Cap Fat Quarter Shop. So thank you very much for that, Susan. Um, the rest of my haul that I have to share is this, the haul that I got from the Jingle Bell. So I placed, I believe these are it, these three, did I already show one? I believe these are it. Um, I got the Jingle Bell, the Jingle Ball Bobbles. So every designer in here, there is a uh, pattern from every designer that was at the ball. So I just wanted to have that because they're super cute. And it kind of pushes me to try other designers that I've not tried. Like I've never sewn, I've never sewn. I've never stitched Satsuma Street before. Um, I feel like some are work, some are what is that? I'm um, summer, summer house stitch works. I don't think I've ever stitched her stuff before. So that's kind of cool. Um, of course you knew Erica Michaels was there, Linda. So I was going to be getting her exclusive. I, I love all the berries. I'm going to do what uh, Jesse Marie just said, tissue box them. Like as soon as I got one berry done, I'm going to start another one. It's kind of that and my Christmas stockings, um, for, um, Blackbird Designs, I have a couple more years before I get those all finished. So last but not least is the Frosted Pumpkins little guy. Um, this is a cute little fox. He's so cute. And the girl of this fox was in the Bobble book. And um, am I covering it? Nope, it's at the top. So see, girl, boy, little couple. When I watched the interview with them, they talked about... Um, that one of the girls is so into romance novels right now. And she's like, let's make a couple. And the foxes came about. And then during the meet and greet, she was like, maybe next time it can be their first Valentine's. And maybe we can do a first this. And it was so cute. They were getting so excited. Who knows if they'll really do that or not. But I was like, well, I must have them if there could possibly be a series about it. So yeah, there's that. So, all right, that is that. That's all I have in regards to that stitching and what I got in this week and stuff. But um, if you're wanting to stick around for personal life, let's do this. So, um, yes, <sighs> I'm going to try. My daughter makes fun of me because when I get emotional, my nose turns red. So, yep, get ready for red nose. Uh, my daughter was taken in on Thursday. I'm not going to go detail to detail because I just want to show you some pictures and share some love. But um, basically, induction is what was done. 33 hours of labor, three unsuccessful epidurals, and then... The doctor, who was the savior, came in and called it and said, you evidently, for some reason, cannot deliver this baby naturally, and we are going in for a C-section. Um, they were able to give my daughter a spinal block, and Ozzy made her appearance very shortly after. So, thank God everyone is healthy and safe. It was There was some scares in there. There was all the things, but I'm showing you some pictures here. So, here, are, here is my granddaughter. Um, my granddaughter's name is Ozzy Elizabeth Penny. Um, she came in at seven pounds, three ounces, born at 407, weighing 20.5 inches long. She has passed all of her health um, screenings, like the hearings and, and the other thing they, they give them as soon as they're born. She has done amazing. Um, my daughter's doing wonderful and they are home. So that's all that matters. Colton is such a proud dad. Um, the one thing that she was so scared about for delivery when they turned it to a C-section was that she wouldn't get to do skin on skin. That's all Lizzie had wanted. I'd never even heard of this before, but um, the doctor made that happen. Um, she asked for one of the NICU doc nurses to stay over so that Lizzie could do her skin on skin. So, whew, sorry. Um, so everything turned out beautiful. 
Lizzie's, uh, any future children that they decide to have, which they're planning on it, um, will be through a C-section. Lizzie, like her mom, um, has a petite pelvic bone and cannot deliver naturally. You will have noticed in the pictures that little Ozzy has her nose. Um, depending on the picture, it could have marks on her head. Uh, she was in the birth canal and that was not working because it was petite. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> so I, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to stop. I could go on forever about my granddaughter. I've gotten to snuggle. I've gotten to hug. I've gotten to just be helpful. Uh, so I am a very proud grandma. I'm very excited. Christmas presents for her have started rolling in. Um, yeah, all the things. So I look forward to this next stage in life. I had so many congratulations telling me, Welcome to being a grandma. It's an amazing experience. It, I am so excited. So thank you, thank you, thank you. That's what I can say here. So this community is so loving and they could tell that I was so excited about this. So um, with that, I'm gonna get off here and uh, because again, I could probably talk about her forever. <laughs> <laughs> They're teaching me how to make the hat things so that I can do that more often again. Okay, so I'm getting out of here. Get on to your next channel. Uh, there is plenty of floss tube out there at this time for content, and I want you to get on to see somebody else. So keep stitching, enjoy life, and I'm sending you so much love. Bye.